Welcome to episode 10, in which I regroup and fight the Moon Lord in a better designed arena. I rewatched the video of the first fight so I could figure out what happened outside the heat of battle. I discovered three important things I did wrong. First, I was trying to use the vampire knives to heal, heal myself, like I had done with the other bosses, but the Moon Lord has a special debuff that blocks them from working. That's the icon in the corner that looks like a drop of water against a red background. It starts when he hits me with his tongue and lasts for 16 seconds, at which point he just repeats that, so the knives are completely ineffective. Second, my direct damage attacks did almost no damage. I was either missing his eyes entirely, or else attacking an eye that was closed. There's a lot going on, and the eyes open and close rapidly, making aiming very difficult. What did do damage was my summoned creatures. Third, the main attack that did the most damage to me was the beam he shoots from his center eye, which is almost impossible to dodge, but that attack does not go through walls. I didn't even notice that during the battle. So I modified my arena by adding a roof to protect against the beam attacks and changed my gear a little to favor tanking and summoning over direct damage. So with that explanation out of the way, let's get to the fight. I've jumped here to the point after I've already killed the Celestial Pillars. Now this is the new arena. It's got the roof on top. Uh, I've also built a couple of teleporter pads here to make it easier to dodge back and forth. My idea being that when he creates the half a dozen or so little eyeballs that do pass through walls, I can hopefully click on the teleporter at the right time and move out of the way uh, of the, the balls. You can see them going up on, on the screen now. I'm also attacking vertically uh, with my um, solar eruption, which is sort of like a cross between a yo-yo and a boomerang. Uh, I'm not trying to do any damage, or at least that's not the intent. Um, I just need to keep, or I'm trying to keep the attack going continuously so that the Moon Lord's, um, the, the Moon Lord has a way of healing himself. There's some, when the tongue hits you, some sort of an object will move from the tongue into his mouth, and if it reaches his mouth, then he gets a thousand hit points uh, of healing. Um, but if you can kill that thing, then he won't get won't get healed. Meanwhile, I've got this dragon, the uh, stardust dragon thing. Um, you make that from the materials you get by killing the stardust pillar, and that's doing a, a lot of damage. You can see that already that right eye is uh, less than half health. And this beam attack is completely neutralized by the roof. Um, and so at this point, the only threat are the occasional random attacks that come from the left and right, and then even more importantly, these eyeball things, which I'm doing a moderately good job of dodging. Unfortunately, I've also got some other enemies, like this zombie with a fishbowl on his head in my arena. I should have done a better job of making it hard for them to spawn here. Oh well. Now his right eye has been defeated, so what happens is this 
true Eye of Cthulhu emerges, and so that's what's up above circling around, and it launches even more of these eyeball attacks that go through walls, so now I've got even more things to dodge. Left eye is dead as well, so there's two of these true eyes. And their attacks are really difficult to dodge because they, they they appear right above you and you only have a moment between when they start moving uh, and when they reach you. So now all three of his eyes are dead. And I didn't even understand this the first time around, but you have to attack his heart. And my Stardust Dragon is doing that when he's not being distracted by the zombies nearby. The solar eruption also happens to be pointed roughly down, but again, my purpose there is mainly to prevent him from healing himself, not to do damage. And I'm just focused on trying to dodge these eyeballs. like a charm. Let's check out the loot. Last prism, which sort of attacks in a, a large area and then it focuses down to a smaller area and uses an enormous amount of mana doing so. And here's what it looks like attacking creatures, if they can survive long enough for the dragon not to kill them. and a suspicious looking tentacle, which is essentially a pet that provides light and works much better than any of the other similar functioning pets just because it moves fast enough to keep up with you. Oh, and the portal gun. So the portal gun is a really cool addition. I haven't found a whole lot of use for it in battle, but it lets you create portals just like in the game um, that you can go into one and emerge out of the other. 